Right, I'm gonna be honest here. I had to compose myself <laughs> before pressing that record button because I, like, where has this come from? <laughs> like, what the hell is going on? Seriously, someone pinch me. What the hell is going on? I, I like, I can, I, I can barely breathe. I've only just been able to start like breathing since yesterday's flipping trailer with Junkazama, which was out of this world. I'm still trying to get over that. And then they hit me. And my phone ends up going like absolutely crazy, blowing up at work. And the freaking Link Show You! <laughs> the freaking Link Show You! Like, I knew she was always going to be in the game. She is like, she's one of Namco's favorite characters. She has been since Tekken 3. She is a poster girl. She appears in nearly everything outside of the games. It, like, she is, she is one of the poster girls. You just got to deal with it. <laughs> but I mean. I, like some people said she might be shown at Evo. I thought possibly I, I mean, I thought th there's no way we're gonna have any more uh, any more character trailers We're not gonna have any more information actually uh, until Evo Japan. That is it They're gonna end with Junkazama and and that will be it <laughs> And then <laughs> then along comes this character trailer out of nowhere literally nowhere no one on earth predicted this I don't care what anyone tells me no one predicted this. I just can't believe it now it's her turn! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Freaking yes! Oh my god, I am so ready for this. I am I'm nervous. I must admit I am nervous for this one. I have no idea how I'm going to how I'm gonna react. Um yesterday even I was quite surprised at the reaction. Um I think it was just build up because I've waited for Jun for so long and part of me thought it was never gonna happen whereas with Ling Xiaoyu I knew it was gonna happen we all did we all knew she was gonna make base roster I just didn't realize it was gonna be this soon I uh, so th that is so exciting but I literally I cannot wait to see her new design I can't wait to see like um if she ha if she carries any weapons what sort of new moves she's got if she has like new moves that are like acrobatic like shooting star or the backflip uh, I, I'm uh, or back layout or something like that. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna freak out. Um, and also, cannot wait to see her rage art because we actually get to see a proper Xiao Yu rage art. Because in Tekken Seven, like all the base characters uh, or, or, or in in the in the uh, the arcade roster, they had like the the most boring rage arts like they, they weren't very interesting they only got interesting once they started introducing like Miguel and Yoshimitsu and Jack so I, I, li I cannot wait to see what they pull out of the bag for this one um, the other thing is I, we have never had a character reveal trailer for Ling Xiaoyu as far as I can remember I really don't think we've had one they brought out these tiny little ones for Tekken 6, but they came out after the uh, like initial trailers. So you'd already seen what they look like. You'd already seen um, some of their gameplay. So she's all even for like Tekken 5. Uh, like it's always been the, the characters just been shown in in the first trailer. So there hasn't been much of a surprise, but this time like we're going in like completely blind. I I, I have no idea what they're gonna do, but like I am so nervous, but I am so excited. Like so, <laughs> I just I let's go, let's go, let's see this. I I, I just I I can't imagine. I just don't know what it's gonna be like. But here we go. Link shout at you, and already actually before I click that play button. This bit, she'll put you back in your place with a smile. Shall you flips the situation in Tekken 8. Like, just that. Like, I can see it. Like, I hope they make her, like, super, like, sort of playful and lovable. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. Peggy 16. <laughs> Link shall you out of nowhere. I can't wait to see what, um... How the commentator like pronounces her name? Or just here we go. Okay, okay, it's happening. It's starting. It's starting. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Get ready for the next oh my God, look at the detail on her costume. <laughs> Dancing Phoenix. Oh my. 
Oh, she looks beautiful. Oh my god, the stage is that? An oh no, it is the New York stage still. <laughs> it looks slightly different. New intro post. She looks gorgeous. What was that? Oh my god, was that the, was that the backflip? Oh what? What? Oh my. That was a new throw. She got new throws from back to her stamps. Okay, okay. Oh my word. That was it. Was that? Oh, oh my god, there's just too much happening at once here. And we get the gym stage. We get the gym stage on this one as well. Okay, Pete got kick into wholesale sway. What was that? That was a new move. Okay, clouded peak. Phoenix double palm. That takes it into heat. What the hell was that? Oh my word, like, just all of her moves are flowing into different transitions. Like, what is going on? That amazing backflip as well. Oh, Phoenix Cannon. Now you made me angry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I need to sit like oh, I'm sitting down. I need to like I need to take a breather. Whoa, like so much happened. I know I say that every time, but literally just move after move after move transition. What the hell is going on? Uh, let let's let's oh. let's just watch that again. First of all, I love her new design. I love that costume. I love it that she's retained her pigtails. I know some people wanted them to get rid of the pigtails and have her in a different hairstyle, but that I'm I'm so glad they kept that. That is just Ling that is iconic Ling Xiaoyu. It's like having hair Hachi without like his like spiky hair on both sides. It's it just it's just not right. So oh my word. Wow. Really I like the rager. I do really like the rager. It, it went on for a long time. Uh, the back throws. Oh my god. I did not expect to see new throws for Ling Xiaoyu. So she doesn't get like, you know, the normal like Ruby or Jade anymore. She gets her own like unique throws from the back throws. Uh, and when I say back throws, I don't mean like their back. I mean when she's basically, when she's in rain dance stance. So, right. Let's just watch that again. Peggy 16. Oh my Oh, and then we'll and then we'll slow it down afterwards, and we'll do a bit of an analysis. But oh my god, I thought it was a new stage at first. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was a new stage. The detail, the feathers on the on the dress. Oh, and the, has she got like she's got like phoenixes uh, for her like her bunches. Ling Xiao Yo! <laughs> oh, the way she moves. Ah. Uh, so that, I think that is just a new animation on her backflip. So she actually gets a combo after that as well. <laughs> I can't wait to see what all the Ling haters say about this one. <laughs> so she now has a mid option from that. Oh my word. She looks... She just looks beautiful. She looks so. Every character in this game looks beautiful, but she looks so sweet, so cute, so beautiful. Wow. The, and the, the Rager. How many hits is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. <laughs> oh, I like it. I really like it that they, that they made her a bit more playful, a bit more immature again. I kind of like that. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, it makes it a bit more toxic, doesn't it? For the <laughs> you know, for those one and doneers, for those uh, key charges, you know. So, oh, fantastic! Wow. Oh my word, Jun and Xiao Yu in the same week, less than 24 hours apart, Jun and Xiao Yu. So, right, okay, let's just unpack all of that. Let's just rewind. Let's change the screen. Peggy 16. Oh, hang on. 
Okay, here we go. Right. So, oh, actually, let's just slow that down as well. Uh, no, that's the quality. Uh, play that the 0.75 worked quite well yesterday, so we do that again. Peggy 16. Again, I, I didn't hear how she said Ling Xiao Yu because <laughs> I was just so like hypnotized by her design. Oh, she just looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh. Get ready for the next battle. Section eight. New challenge. So she. So that, she retains her, the, the same intro pose, but I always really like that one. It, it, she, just, it, she just looks amazing. And look at the hair. Look, the hair is such a huge improvement um, over before. And look at the tiny details, like the little purple uh, uh, thread uh, down her dress and that. Oh, my God. Oh, it looks amazing. She looks beautiful. She just looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I will not lose focus. <laughs> oh my word, I can't believe this is happening. Okay, so was that a new string from Nina? Just wait a minute, like... Yes, yeah, so I don't even know how punishable that is. I don't know what that string is from Nina, but she punishes with the fan dance... Um, or, or the bayonet twist, and then what happens after that? So, so the one down two, which is her her ten frame punisher, and then does she have a? <laughs> oh my god, does she have a low from that now? <laughs> what as well as the mid? Like, and then does that that pose? And oh wow. So was that her magic four? Does the magic four not launch anymore? And you get like, no, it does. What the hell? It's, it has that is a different like hit reaction there. I don't think I've seen that one yet. So the magic four, and then into the backflip. They uh, that must be just her old um, well. Uh, <laughs> let me think. Up back three plus four. That must be her old three. Um, up back three plus four, because it goes into Phoenix as well. Wow! Look at the improved animation on it. You know what? It looks a lot like her Crescent Moon Kick, like her four tilde three, but like the opposite way round. So maybe maybe it isn't even the backflip. Oh. <laughs> so the move, the infamous move, returns the uh, down back two feathered fan, and then she does the like the hop and throw, like the forward forward uh, throw from uh, rain dance stance, and it's a brand new animation. So I wonder if that is still a guess. You know, like you've got to guess: is it a, is it a one break? Is it a two break? And that looks guaranteed. <laughs> that looks guaranteed afterwards. Oh, people are not going to be liking this. <laughs> uh, so, so she gets a. Oh, uh, maybe not a full launch. Maybe just like it. Maybe it is just a um, guaranteed giant slayer down three four afterwards. Okay, right. So Nina there did uh, the Gazer Cannon, which has always been launch punishable. And Xiaoyu got her iconic uh, Punisher, uh, the cross lifting palms, uh, down forward two tilde one. Uh, two til there, down forward two tilde one. So that is a brand new move. What, I, what the hell? So she can go into Hypnotist in a combo now? 
So, are they making much more use of Hypnotist? So she doesn't just have like, she can't just like, she can transition into Art of Phoenix, into Rain Dance Dance, and Hypnotist in a combo. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so this looks like a brand new, brand new move. Again, once again, she did a mid. So the, um, the, this string in previous Tekken's, it's mid-high. So I wonder if she retains the mid-high and still has the mid-mid. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so, uh, cross-lifting palms, belly chop. Then that was the first hit of the hawk's beak. So, rain dance stance one. Now, normally, you do rain dance stance one Four, which would be her hidden fortune, which is mid high. This time she goes by the looks of it mid mid. And then she gets that new uh, Tekken 8 flip. Does the first two hits of the forward 2 1, um, I think it's uh, uh, Baiyuan Zhuan Wu. I apologize for the terrible Chinese. Uh, <laughs> and then has enough time to go into Hypnotist. So she can go into Hypnotist after forward 2 1. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> People were moaning before. <laughs> Jeez. I dread to think what it's going to be like. Oh, wow. Okay, so into the hypnotist and spin sticker hypnotist 2 so once again brand new move there from nina so i don't know i don't know the frames on it but the most uh, what the, the crazy thing about this which i missed um when we watched the trailer in full speed because there's just too much happening at once that is her parry which is three plus four and in Tekken 7, the only thing she gets guaranteed off of that is a down 4. So, very little damage. And, okay, so it might, st there might still be nothing guaranteed because she just goes into Hypnotist after that. But it does look like Nina's got her back towards Xiao Yu for quite some time. So she hits them with... Well, hang on a minute, what move even was that that she hit them with? Wow, I've just realised what that move is. That is one of her most useless moves. Her, like, falling tiger kick, which is from Hypnotist Dance. Um, Hypnotist, Hypnotist 4. Um, but you can also get it from while standing and most of the time if I ever do it It's by accident because it's uh, while standing back for um, And sometimes when I'm just going to do her while standing for I accidentally get that Okay, so maybe they're making more use of that which would be fantastic And then does once again that string was mid high does she have a mid, mid extension now? Back four, so um, pressing uh, pressing crane back four four was mid high, and it was her tailspin move in uh, and thirteen frame punisher in Tekken seven, but it was mid high, so people can duck the high and launch her. Now it looks like she has a mid extension, kind of like the back turn one back turn one mid extension it looks very similar wow and it almost looks i don't think it is i don't think it is but it almost looks like her storming flower which is like her i would say most iconic move it's the move that she does um on on renders wind poses if people are ever posing for photos they either do aop or they do storming flower down back one it looks a little bit like that, but I don't think it is. It may be a reworked animation. I really don't know at this point. So, same intro. Peacock kick, blocks the peacock kick, tries to... 
<laughs> tries to punish. Now back with, with with King. That looked like a back one. I can't remember the frames. I don't know how fast back one is. Um, but I mean, Peacock Kick. If I remember the Peacock Kick on in Tekken Seven, I think. I no, I'm probably wrong. At one time it was plus three. In a different patch, it may have been um, pushed up to plus four. But I think it might still be plus three. And then goes and then hits him with a counter hit by the looks of it. Ca yeah, counter hit. Ho Sao Tui. So um, her back turned down four. At which, look at the, look at the animation on that. Look how many times King spins. And then she goes into heat. That is a new, a new move by the looks of it. Um, it looks like, once again, uh, X marks the spot. But like a reverse X marks the spot. Kind of like her, actually, her Phoenix Flight. Um, up forward one plus two. Um, but um, without the jump. Okay, butter the bread. Okay, so th that is that is a, that that is a similar combo um, to well that is the the last bit the forward two one. Um, forward one plus two is a, is basically her her bread and butter uh, wall combo in Tekken eight, but it looks as if she can now do that at, um, uh, out in the open. I, the, she didn't. You weren't able to do that in 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 Tekken seven. There wasn't the space. So <laughs> so that there's, there's nothing new here. Nothing new by the looks of it. Forward, forward, one. And then goes into AOP. Does the Phoenix double palm. So Phoenix double palm puts her in heat. Wow. Runs in. Storming flower. Not storming flower. Shooting star. Shooting star. Once again, absolutely iconic for Xiao Yu. What the bloody hell is that? <laughs> what in the hell is that? It looks like a mistrust on acid. So does shoot it. Oh my word. And lose her in back turn stance. So again, the pressing crane into that new mid extension. What the hell? Oh my god, she has a low from hypnotist? She's never had a low from Hypnotist. You can cancel Hypnotist and then do a low, like the down back two, uh, the sidestep four, you know, um, feathered fan and um, street sweeper. But she's never had a low from Hypnotist. And a knock knockdown low at that? Then goes into the Crescent Moon Kick. Storming flower. I knew, I knew it. I knew the storming flower would be her, um, would would put her into heat. So it looks like all, nearly all the extensions that end with a storming flower puts her into heat. Maybe her fortune cookie and um, bayonet thruster um, up one plus two, two, one, and one two one. Maybe there uh, they put her into heat as well. So, let's just go back. Yeah, Crescent Moon Kick. Storming Flower puts her into heat. Does the Wings of Fury. Dark and Stormy. And then, what? So, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. That, have they, maybe that really is a different animation just on her, on her backflip. Because the backflip, uh, you can never use in combos. It was, it was so slow. Very, very slow startup. Um, it's really hyped to actually hit in a match because it doesn't happen very often and you can use it as a launch punish But I don't think I've ever seen I don't think I've ever seen that happen uh, Please quote me if, uh, like please uh, prove me wrong. I, I very rarely see that used as a um, As a punisher for, for like, you know the big sweeps A 
Okay, so Wings of Fury, Dark and Stormy, then the backflip goes into AOP, then the Phoenix double pump. Was that all in one combo? Let's just have a look. Let's just have a look. Was that all in one combo? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That was all in one combo. Every character is actually busted in this game. <laughs> I just, I, I just, it's gonna be a bloodbath. It's gonna be an absolute bloodbath. So she's just absolutely tying with them, spinning them around, and then hits them square in the stomach. Okay, okay, here we go. Right, okay, let's just watch that. So one, uh, one more time in, uh, in, in like the regular speed. So, uh, hang on a mm. And then, and then, then we'll finish the video. <laughs> wow. What what a lineup of characters. What an absolute stunking lineup of characters. Oh my word. She looks like she just she plays so differently. I the, I, I think one of the things that is absolutely blowing my mind is that she can just like she can go into hypnotist in combos. Like, she can transition into Hypnotist so easily. Like, Hypnotist is going to be used so much more. <laughs> People are going to be complaining about Hypnotist as much as the other two stances now. <laughs> oh, the way she moves, the way she flows, it's just a work of art. It's so beautiful. Yeah, King, take that. <laughs> That's revenge for the anime. Go on, beat him up, shall you? <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um. Wow. Well, um, what do we all think? Oh, are we happy with the Link Show? <laughs> why am I even asking that? <laughs> oh, why am I even asking that? Of course you're happy. Everyone loves the Link Show, you. Um, uh, just, wow. I, 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 this lineup of characters, like, for 10 characters, this lineup already absolutely knocked seven bells out of the, the base roster that they had for Tekken 7, and that was 20 characters. In my opinion, um, I mean to have Jun and Xiao Yu like there, right at the very beginning. We got Law, we got Paul, like like you know, Kazia, Jin. Oh my God, King, uh, Jack, Lars, and I've probably forgotten someone. Uh, <laughs> oh, Nina! <laughs> Forgot about her. <laughs> um, Oh, and she, oh, I think I said Jin. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I, I think she looks amazing. Um, she's I, she's still gonna be my main, I think. I, I at the moment, uh, she, I'll probably be using Xiao Yu. Um, Jun will be a secondary. I will be playing a hell of a lot of Jun as well. Um, but what does everyone else think? Is everyone happy with uh, her Ling Xiao Yu's return? Are they happy with what they've done with her? What do you think about the stance transitions? Do you like the rage art? Again, I think I really do like the rage art. It's very different to what I was expecting. I was expecting like crazy flips, acrobats, all sorts of things. Um, but it seems it seems quite um, 
it's not quite as as uh, as flashy as I was expecting. I kind of like it, um, how sort of um, realistic it is, um, in a way. Like you could see it being, you could see that being done in like a, a proper martial arts film, um, which is kind of nice. Oh, and yes, she didn't have a weapon. I, you know what? I'm not, I'm not um, bothered about that. I'm quite happy about that. So she doesn't, she doesn't have a weapon. She doesn't need um, anything else, which I'm absolutely fine with. But yeah, fantastic. Um, so if, if you like the video, uh, drop a like. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Who do you want next? I mean, where do we go from here? Evo Japan. It's got to be Evo Japan. We're not going to get any more, surely. No more. We got 10. That is like quite a, a nice round number. Um, it looks like all of these characters are going to be um, used. Um, it's going to be available for the uh, for the beta in, um, in, in Evo Japan. Um, yeah, so uh, if you like the video, uh, uh, drop a like. Um, uh, if you want to subscribe, I'm going to be doing uh, reaction videos for all new uh, Tekken 8 content. And um, I also stream on Twitch quite regularly. Um, most of the time it's Tekken. Thanks very much. I'll leave it at that. And uh, yeah, take care, everyone. I'll see you soon. All right, bye.